Ontario residents are doing some celebrating of their own with the closing of a toxic waste dump, and they're doing it with a little show. A gathering at the airport Hilton will be the premiere screening of Now or Never, a national PBS documentary. The movie features members of our community in their struggle to close Casmelia Resources' toxic waste facility. Now or Never is the final segment of a 10-part series on the environment called Save Our Planet. It shows how people worldwide are working to save the Earth. You know, we're always out on the front lines fighting, opposing Casmelia, and we rarely take time to pat ourselves on the back. So what we wanted to do tonight is, is celebrate the fact that the dump's been closed almost a year now, and also that we're achieving nationwide recognition. Actress Bo Derek and her husband John will be the hosts of an award ceremony to honor community leaders who were active in the fight against the dump. Well, up next in Key News, just how long will parts of Santa Barbara City College be closed? We hope to tell you. Casmelia is featured as a case study of community activism. Many of the people involved in closing the wayside are getting together at the Santa Maria Hilton tonight for the premiere of Now or Never. Bill Buck grew up in the Santa Maria Valley where he founded Students Wanting Environmental Harmony at Rigetti High School. He's now with Greenpeace. Bill, welcome to KCOI. Thank you very much. Uh, why are you celebrating tonight? Well, we decided that uh, it's great to celebrate our victories. I mean, we rarely celebrate. We're usually working to oppose Casmelia. We wanted to, to focus on the positive aspects of what we're doing, and we're achieving nationwide recognition, and we want to we want to celebrate. Is the battle over Casmelia over for you? Absolutely not, and that's another purpose of our of our meeting here tonight. We want to re dedicate ourselves to the fight and we want to let everyone know including Mr. Ken Hunter that we're definitely we haven't stopped fighting and we're very wide awake and we're going to oppose this facility. What are you doing now for Greenpeace Bill? I work with toxic uh, community groups all across California that are facing a similar dilemma that, that we have here in Casmelia. I mean as most people know it's going on all over the country all over the world people are getting sick getting cancer from such uh, facilities as Casmelia dump. And so I'm working to help communities organize against these dumps. What's the biggest challenge when you try to organize uh, env environmental consciousness in a high school or in a community? Well, at, at this point, it's looking a lot more positive than it did three years ago. When I first started, uh, people didn't have much of a grasp on, on environmental issues. But now it's getting a lot better. I'd have to say the worst, the worst roadblock would probably be people's uh, fear of uh, not being accepted for standing up for how they feel. What's next for you and for opponents of Casmelia? Well, we're going to keep on fighting. Um, this year is just a, a night to, 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 to focus on, on positive things. Uh, we want to celebrate. We want to reaffirm ourselves, like I said, to the fight. So uh, from here on, we're going to see how it goes, but there's no way that we're going to let that dump open up again. No way. All right. Thank you, Bill, for joining Thank us. Thank you very much. Bill Buck from Santa Maria. Planning commissioners for the city of San Luis Obispo are backing down on a plan to make a resident...